On the pole, it is Turbo Tom Terrific Tom Brown. To his outside, the Norwegian Jack Hammer, Jeremy Chensfold. It is Antonio Miramontes inside row number two. Danny Manzoni outside row two. Row number three inside is the missing man. Then it is the 26 of Jason Grover to the outside. The C4, Rapid Roy Deering, and his outside, the M1 of Bill Manzoni. Three, four, five, six, seven. 28 cylinders coming at you off of turn number four. 20 laps of the distance, mini stock, A main. Here we go. cylinders started and we're down to about 24 now because that one here you go down to six cars your leader is tom brown jeremy chisvold is second third is danny manzoni fourth is jason grover antonio miramontes is fifth sixth is bill manzoni those dominate Tom Brown just stepped on something and turns three and four brings out the yellow Pinto Colt truck Corolla off of turn four we're green not everyone was ready but your leader was Jeremy Chesvold, and he flashes away down the backside. Chesvold into turn number three, off of turn number four. Tom Turbo Terrific starts to move through the field. He's back up to third already. Danny Manzoni, he just got a bad shock on the right rear, or the shock is completely missing. Because that right rear on the M1A Dodge Colt is bouncing something fierce down the front straightaway. Turbo Tom back up into contention. He's up into the second spot. Miramontes to the inside of Manzoni. They're crossing cross and then the back end stretch for what fourth and fifth check that fifth and sixth the leads three and a half seconds for jeremy chensfold let's see this time by see if turbo tom's closing in at all 3.4 seconds was the lead this time is 3.3 so he picked up a tenth of a second danny manzoni is going to call it a day in the m1a he pulls into the back stretch we stay green that is a good racing decision by Danny Manzoni right there. Could have brought out the yellow, but he did not. Chose to keep the race green. Six laps are in. Swords off and turns one and two. Rights the ship. And comes off a of turn four again with a healthy lead over Turbo Tom. Full service Pintos dominating here at Petaluma Speedway. Jeremy Chisholm leads Tom Brown by about three and a half seconds with nine laps down almost halfway in. he has from the very start. Heads return for home here at Petaluma Speedway with Jeremy Chesfold with a 3.6 second lead over Turbo Tom Terrific, Terrible Tom Brown. A 
seven laps are in. Jason Grover comes up on the back of Bill Manzoni. Grover working through lap traffic. Side to turn number one, that's Grover and Manzoni. Grover navigates around Manzoni. And Grover puts Manzoni a lap down. Top three cars in the lead lap, but that's about it. 15 laps in. Jeremy Chensfold coming up on the third place car of Jason Grover to put him a lap down. And it'll be the two powerful service Pintos. Did I see a wisp of smoke out of the back of the 3XR? Sixteen laps in the books, the lead is down to 2.2 seconds. Can Tom Brown bridge the gap here? Seventeen in the books, three to go. seconds. Six or seven car lengths. Jensvold leads Tom Terrific, but here comes Tom Brown, the madman, is on the chase. Elbows are up, beating the squirrels over the head under the hood, trying to get them to go. 18 laps are down, two to go. White flag last time by Tom Brown. Chinsfold wins over Tom Brown. Third was Super Jason Grover. Fourth was Bill Manzoni. Congratulations to Jeremy Chensfold. Again, these two guys work on their cars together on the same nights, so Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays over at the Power Pole Service uh, shop. Know each other very well, very good friends on and off the track. We have first main event winner on Jake's performance night here at Pedal the Speedway in the Jake's Performance Hobbies Mini Socks Division. It's the Norwegian Jackhammer. Hey, we did it. <laughs> Otherwise known as a flying Dutch oven. So I think you're what, three for three or four for four? Three for three this year. So, I mean, you got your good buddy there, Tom Brown, and Bob Davis helps put it all together. I mean, how fun was that? Well, that was a lot of fun, you know. Um, it's just a real blessing for me to be able to come out and do this. I got a great group of guys around me, Tom and Bob and Beth and, and everybody that helps out, you know. Um, it's really a special race for me. My family's here tonight. They drove down from Grass Valley to come watch me race, so uh, this was really special. Car handled great for, I mean, it was a little choppy out there, um, but we got it done. Happy, happy, uh, happy to bring home the win. And I uh, just want to thank my sponsors, Power Pole Service, NorCal Fence, uh, Santa Rosa Auto Body, uh, Herman's Mobile Lube, Herman's here tonight over there in the pits as well, and Macy Chiropractic, and then Gary Adams at Hellcat Vapors. I got a great group. Everybody, uh, 
everybody helps everybody in this division. It's it's something else, you know, when, when a whole group of guys get together because one guy broke down or something, we're like a big family. So this is pretty awesome. Thank you, guys. All right, your winner tonight, three for three on the year, <laughs> Jeremy Jenswald. All right, TV, downtown Town Brown. I mean, uh, your teammate keeps beating you. I mean, what do you, what do you, what do you need, some nitro or something? Uh, some, there's something going on. I think he needs to go to tech. Uh oh. Well, that wouldn't be the first time. <laughs> no, I guess, uh, you know, so uh, obviously second is the uh, first loser, but you're no loser. Now, you know, I did everything I could to catch him, and thanks for making a great track tonight. A little different in the heat race, but uh, everybody had the same track. All right, downtown Palm Brown, second tonight. Also, I want to give a shout out to Power Pole Service. Uh, folks, you might want to notice uh, uh, who are here on our shootout race. Mr. Sean Becker and the 88 Dan Monhoff had taken out a piece of our fence there. Bob Davis, Bob Davis Sr. and uh, Power Pole Service came out and fixed our fence for us. So uh, hats off to them. Yeah, back upstairs for Ron Lingren.